brought to you by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. So I really like Asian flavors, whether it's with fish and game or domestic meats. Today I've got three Asian-inspired recipes. And they may not be authentic Asian recipes, but they're my take using Asian flavors. First is a Korean bulgogi that I'm doing with venison. Soy sauce, sesame oil, it's kind of sweet in there also, so it's got some brown sugar. It's a good marinade, especially if you have a stronger tasting animal, like perhaps a rangy antelope or sea ducks that require a little help, a little bit more marinade. This is venison hindquarter. You can tell how tender it is. So if your venison hindquarter is not tender like this, what happened? You probably overcooked it. I've got garlic, brown sugar. Brown sugar is going to obviously give it some sweetness. Sesame seeds you can add at the end or in the beginning, doesn't matter. Here's some crushed black pepper, green onions, pickled or fresh ginger, a little bit of sesame oil, and a little bit of sesame oil goes a long way. This is low sodium soy sauce. Leave this in here for at least six hours. We want this to have a lot of flavor. The hot skillet. This is only gonna cook for a minute or two. Just enough to get it lightly browned on the outside and still very, very tender. And now some greens, kale, spinach. I added greens and shiitake mushrooms and I got the bulgogi out of the pan. 